Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. So in today's video we're going to be checking out some emulation on the Steam Deck which I've been really looking forward to. I did do a video, the last video I did on the channel was actually with PC Gaming on the Steam Deck. It was an unboxing video as well. I will leave it at the end of the video or a link in the description if you wish to see that. But let's check out some emulation. Now, I've only had it for a couple of days, so I'm literally still in the process of setting it all up, making sure it looks nice, getting everything all working, hunky-dory, how I like it. So I've been using EMU Deck, which is really simple to set up. Also helps you uh, with a very, very simple five-step process that you can get it up and running on your Steam Deck. There is a few systems that you do have to tweak and work around and do a few things in order to have them enabled to play. But I'll cover that in a later video. But without further ado, let's check out some emulation on the Steam Deck. So what I'm using here is emulation station it's a really really nice way of actually getting your games up and running on your steam deck it looks really really nice so we're going to kick things off with things that are really really low end which you know will work really really well and then we'll step it up a notch and i'll be doing plenty of videos on this also how to install it and get it set up as well even the little tweaks that you have to do which hardly anybody mentions but we'll come to that at a later date if there is anything else you wish to see running on here, guys, I will do extensive long play videos. If that's something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing, hitting the like if you like the video today, and also becoming part of the Sonic Love emulation family. So let's kick things off with some simple things. Let's go with some. Let's go with some Master System. So same as any Linux based system, you just click into RetroArch, exit out of RetroArch and you're back into the operating system, which is really, really nice and handy. Something that we're really used to with retro gaming. So it's nice to see. So let's try out some Mega Drive. Try out some Game Boy Advance. I 
as you can imagine, Super Nintendo, all the rest of the 16-bit, right the way up to PS1, run absolutely fantastic. So let's check out some Dreamcast. FPS is in the top left-hand corner, guys, and everything at the moment is running full speed. Go with some Nintendo 64. It's silky smooth, guys, like super smooth. Sixty frames. Go with some Sega Saturn. Three, two, one. 
Try out some Naomi. Again, all Naomi games, full speed, no issues. And looks incredible on here. Same with the Thomas Wave guys. emulator guys with lots of gameplay tests and long plays don't worry okay so we just wanted to show you what the interface looks like it still has running uh, steam os but it's just got in the front end and the back end are combining with each other so it's really really cool it gives a really really great and smooth experience so on the top as you can see if i scroll left you can see that all the games that i have which is pretty cool and if we come over to collections we can see that we have 12 emulators installed all the roms for systems so say for instance if i go to say what haven't we checked out yet let's go to psp so if i go into psp you'll see i haven't got the box art over yet all of it it hasn't transferred over yet but as i say i'm still in the process of sorting it but let's try some god of war So let's now check out some GameCube. Try some Mario Sunshine.
What you're seeing in the artifacts on the side is the widescreen hack, guys. You can take it off and put it in a different orientation and aspect ratio, and it stops and prevents that. I will show that in another video, but don't worry about that. There's a bit of shader cash every now and again, but once it's up and running, it plays like a dream, guys. Okay, let's step it up again and let's go into some PlayStation 2. As you can see, it's playing at full 60 frames and it looks awesome. Also looks good on the GameCube as well. I much prefer the PS2 version. Let's go with some Gran Turismo 4. Plays amazing, feels amazing, and looks incredible. You normally get a few problems in uh, New York City with slowdown, but as you can see, guys, it is performing very, very well. PS2, not a problem on the Steam Deck.
Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave it there for this video. I do need to do a lot more tinkering around, get this set up to how I want it, get it looking really, really nice. I'm sure you've probably seen lots of videos on it, but if there is any other games that you wish to see testing on here, guys, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments, and I will gladly do some long play videos. But this is one hell of a handheld, and the fact that I can play AAA games, I can play indie games, all the retro games, 16-bit upwards, and then also top-end games as well. I have been so impressed with this unit. It's absolute joy to play. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A like would be truly appreciated. As I say, please, please, please make sure you hit the bell notification to see all the uploaded videos that I do in the future. And as always, guys, take care.